Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about the lecithinase test. So lecithinase is an enzyme. You will probably know that because it ends in A-S-E. Ace is always the suffix for our enzyme names. And it is a type of enzyme known as a phospholipase. So it's a particular type of phospholipase that breaks down a substrate known as lecithin. Lecithin is a mixture of different kinds of fatty acids. Think things like phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylinositol and more that are found in animal and plant tissues. Some bacteria make a lecithinase and they actually use it as a virulence factor to help them establish infections and cause disease. So it enables them to break down host tissues, um, including various tissues in humans, to help them to establish disease. There are a variety of different kinds of bacteria that produce lecithinase, including Clostridium perfringens, Bacillus cereus, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Listeria monocytogenes. Clostridium perfringens is actually known to have a pretty um, effective lecithinase, um, and it is actually called alpha toxin. So if you hear someone talking about the Clostridium perfringens alpha toxin, they're actually talking about a lecithinase. So the lecithinase test is a way to take a bacterial isolate in a laboratory that's come from a patient and determine whether or not it is capable of producing lecithinase. Um, and so might be one of these types of bacteria. And so the way that it works is you inoculate bacteria as a streak, like the black streaks shown here, onto egg yolk auger. So this is auger that contains egg yolk. Egg yolk has a, a lot of lecithin, and so that's why it's used in this test. So then you, you inoculate the auger with the bacteria, incubate for 24 hours, and then it's time to analyze results. If you see precipitation, that indicates a positive reaction. So in the drawing here, we have two black streaks that indicate the streak that the bacteria made on the plate. And if there is no precipitation, that's a negative result. But if you have this zone of precipitation and on an actual egg yolk auger plate, it looks like um, a giant kind of white, sort of maybe stringy kind of glob um, in the auger around that streak. But that precipitate, um, that white opaque precipitate indicates a positive result. Now you might be asking yourself why does this precipitate result when lecithinase is present? So if lecithinase is present, what is it doing to cause some kind of precipitation? Well, when lecithinase breaks down lecithin, one of the products is a hydrophobic um, diglyceride with these kind of long um, fatty acid tails, and that makes it insoluble in water. So the fact that it's insoluble in water, and this is um, an aqueous medium, it will precipitate. If you're interested in learning about some other biochemical tests, things like the catalase test, coagulase test, oxidase test, DNA test, citrate test, and so forth, I've got a playlist that has videos on lots of different biochemical tests that are used in laboratories to distinguish between different types of bacteria. So feel free to check that out. And thanks for watching Biology Professor.